it's time now for the PHL new news report for this Tuesday afternoon, February 24th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Bill Wiggins. I get top news at 9 here at noontime. And our top story here at noontime is the driver of a truck that was hit by a Metrolink train that had derailed, fled the scene, and was arrested, officials said. As Metrolink has struggled with safety and deadly crashes. Islamic State militants have abducted as many as 90 Assyrian Christians after overrunning several small villages in northeast Syria, an activist group said on Tuesday. Nine people have been killed in the shooting in the Czech Republic, as according to news agency AFP. The shootings that took place in a restaurant, as Sky News out of England reports, it took place in the town of Ireski. Janet Yellen Sought to lay the groundwork for the end of the zero interest rates in America opened up the U.S. Federal Reserve for options on policy amid a strengthening economy. In Berea, Ohio, with a gold on her tradition and provide modern edge, the Cleaver Browns revealed revamp logos Tuesday with a richer orange color to the brown, with a richer orange color and a brown face mask on the helmet. Just over a month before Nigeria's election, the Milton Group Boko Ram demonstrated the ease which, with which it would carry out its threat to the attack voters when a suicide bomber killed at least 15 people to an attack on a bus. A U.S. court has ruled that the Palestinian Authority and the Palestinian Liberation Organization must pay more than $650 million to American citizens and their loved ones for attacks in Israel in the early 2000s. In Makaba, Ukraine, pro-Russia separatists brought reporters on Tuesday to witness them with thought of heavy weapons from a front line in East Ukraine under a ceasefire, but Ukraine said the rebels were used in the cover of our troops. A Seattle missionary has been kidnapped in Nigeria, and the U.S. government is getting involved to help secure release the church she works for, said on Monday. It's not easy being a manatee besides being up to 13 foot feet long and weighing about 1,300 pounds, earning the nickname Sea Cows Manatees in Florida have to put up with us. Historically cold temperatures that have been put in the chill on their home. A Fort Lauderdale officer has been put on paid leave after a YouTube video surfaced him of slapping a homeless man. A man tied to the 2011 disappearance and murder of Tennessee nursing student Holly Bobo has been killed himself. In Brussels, Berlin, Greece has secured a four month extension of its financial rescue on Tuesday when its year zone partners. Approved a reform plan that cracked down on key leftist measures and promised that spend it to alleviate social distress. In New York, Home Depot posted fourth quarter profit that top analysts estimated as improved customer service and online operations helped to take advantage of a surge in renovation spending. Home prices in 2014 saw a yearly growth slope to the weakest pace in three years, according to a home price report released Tuesday. The home price index covering an entire nation rose 4.6% in the 12 months ended on December said the S&P Case Schiller. Consumer confidence fell more than forecast in February and the initial elation over a drop in fuel prices waned and Americans grew less optimistic about prospects for employment and income. The season 20 in cast of Dance with the Stars with dance this morning, fan favorites like Suzanne Summers, music great Patty LaBelle, and football star Michael will be competing this year on the dance floor. Ben Wolf, American Horror Story Freak, so has died in LA Hospital from injuries suffered last week when he was hit by a passing car. Native to Northeast Asia, the critically endangered. Amber Leopard has seen its numbers double since 2007, according to WWF report. Head of UN Climate Panel steps down amid sexual harassment case. When it comes to carbon dioxide emissions, the first environmental problem that comes to mind is climate change as humans pump more of this greenhouse gas in the air, the earth gets warmer. And the climate changes in ways that could damage. Eating peanut products as a baby dramatically cuts the risk of allergy, as studies suggest that trials on 628 babies prone to development of peanut allergy found the risk was cut by over 80%. More years when relying on NAUDs and implants. A blind man is now able to see objects and people again, including his wife and family, for the first time in a decade. With the help of a bionic eye implant. Take a look at the stock market report at 12.04. Dow Jones, 18.191.66, up 74.82 so far. SP 521.13.72, up 4.06. NASDAQ 4962.3. NASDAQ 4962.79, up 1.82. European market stacks 11.205.74, up 74.82. 
FTSE 69.49.63 up 37.47. And CAC 40.48.6.44 up 24.14. Asian markets Nikkei 18.603.48 up 136.56. Shanghai 32.47.43 up 25.07. HSI 24.750.07 down 86.69. Oil markets 49.98 up 52 cents. Brent 59.55 up 65 cents. And natural gas 2.94 up 600 zero points. In the gold market, 1194.10 down 6.70 cents. Silver, 16.115 down 139,000 a point. Copper, 2.6505 up 58,000 a point. In the bonds, US 10 year yield, 2.033% down 24,000 a point. German 10 year yield, 0.372% down 2,000 a point. And Germany's 10 year yield, 0.373% down 3,000 a point. And in the FX bond, European US dollar, 1.1306 down 24,000 a point. At U.S. dollar Japanese yen 119.11 up 30 cents and Great Britain pound U.S. dollar 1.5437 down 15,000 points. In the commodity markets here, wheat 510 up four and a quarter, soybean 1022 and a quarter up 23, corn 382 and a half up three and three quarters, sugar 14 dollars 11 cents down 20 cents. Coffee 143.55 down 90 cents. Cotton 65.40 up 65 cents. Ref price $10.44 down 25,000 a point. And cocoa 3,081 up 27. Okay, take a look at sports news here. A day after Kansas State's men's basketball fans stormed the court at Bramlett's Coliseum after the Wildcats upset victory over Kansas, Kansas State police were overlooking to identify a fan who collided into a KU player and Wildcats athletic director John Curry. With less than a week to go before the NHL trade deadline, the Montreal Canadiens and the Amadecs have swapped some dead players that still realize their potential. As Canadians trade Jury Seca to Ducks for Devante Smith Pelly. Tonight, the Boston Rules will be at the Garden tonight, taking on the Vancouver Canucks. Game time, 7 o'clock in the TDD Garden, and the Not Lancers. Hockey team will be have a playoff game out of the Gal Ice Wind and Warren, Massachusetts, taking on the Southeastern Regional Hawks. Peter Chell News Times at 1207. Time now for a Trevor report here on this. Tuesday afternoon, and it's smooth sailing our ways, byways, and wing there. And a few accidents to report around the region here. We got Route 24 on the We got an accident at Route 24 on the North Van side around Route 139 in Stoughton, so expect some delays there around Route 24 and in the Randolph, a road construction right lane closed on Route 24 northbound at Route 139, next to 20 here. And 495 in the southbound side, it's slow from Route 111 in Bucksburg down for Bolton due to an road work on Route 495 southbound and an accident on Route 495 southbound near 117 in Bolton, so expect some delays there. And a look at the MBTA. Green Line East Service suspended between Brigham Circle and Heath Street. Please use Route 39 bus for service between Brigham Circle and Heath Street. Green Line D Branch service will originate at Park Street Station for service at Riverside. Please board at Park Street. And LY Parking Garage, please buy us that. LY Parking Garage is currently capacity and closed due to incoming customers there. And all bus routes are experiencing on the Silver Line, moderate to severe delays due to very heavy traffic. And on the Fitchburg South Acton Line, train for 09, 11 a.m. from North Station delayed today, 15 to 25 minutes through the other late trains. Fitchburg South Acton Line, train for 14, 10 35 a.m. from Fetchburg will be delayed 20 to 30 minutes due to earlier late train. Franklin, Franklin Line train 714, 1045 a.m. from Forge Park, 495, operating 20 to 25 minutes late. 
Peter Chell News on 1210 Dana Fire Weather Report there on this Tuesday afternoon. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts at 1210 p.m. 14 degrees on temperature with first gas humidity 35%. Wind speed is calm, ground near 3.26 inches, super about 9 below, and a visibility of 10 miles an hour here. Okay, take a look at current conditions around the region here. On this. Tuesday afternoon, it's 8 above in Boston and Beverly, 11 in Fitchburg, 5 above in Bedford, it's 10 in Havel, it's 7 above in Gloucester, 6 above in Worcester and Sturbridge, it's 8 above in Sturbridge, 6 above in Southbridge and Webster, 12 in Milford, 10 in Norwood, it's 11 in Taunton, 11 in New Bedford, it's 12 in Plymouth, 10 in Provincetown and Falmouth, it's 15 in Chatham and Nantucket, it's 11 in Cape Cod Bay, 13 in Martha's Vineyard, it's 12 in Block and Westley, and then Smithfield, 10 above in Providence, it's 15 in New York City, 13 in it's up 12 above in Montauk, it's 11 above in New Haven, 10 in Danbury, 9 above in Waterbury, 11 above in Meriden, 12 above in Hartford, Connecticut, 11 above in Windsor Locks, 9 above in Springfield, Massachusetts, 10 above in Amherst, Massachusetts, 10 above in Greenfield, Massachusetts, 7 above in Atfall, Massachusetts, 4 above in North Hampton, Massachusetts, 5 above in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and in Albany, New York, it's 10 above in Saratoga Springs, 3 above in Redland, Vermont, 5 above in Bainton, 6 above in Redburn, Vermont, it's 0 in Lebanon. Been in New Hampshire, it's 7 above in Keene, Hampshire, 5 above in Jefferson, Hampshire, and Little Corner, and Hampshire, it's 7 above in Concord, Hampshire, 10 above in Manchester, Hampshire, 9 above in Nashville, Hampshire, 5 above in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and 9 above in Portland, Maine. Here, take a look at the current conditions around the region. Here, take a look at the surf map around the country. Shows a cold front from Alberta stretching down from the northeast of Montana, down from North Dakota, down from North Central Minnesota, measuring a warm front from Wisconsin, stretching down to Iowa, and a pink front from. Lake Huron and up in Ontario, and a warm front up in the northwestern Quebec here. And a cold front stretching in central Baja California, Mexico, merging with a stationary front. Dan for Mexico and stretching down the Gulf of Mexico, Dan for Florida, merging with a cold front off the Florida coastline here. And we got another front of mine from off the Oregon, Dan for California. And another front of mine from Colorado, stretching down on the northeastern portions of Arizona. And we got a front of mine from eastern Kentucky, stretching it in through eastern Tennessee, down for Georgia and western Pan Island, Florida here. And we got high pressure off the Virginia coastline, Northern Idaho, North Central Nevada, and South Central portions of Wyoming, and Central portions of Texas, and off the Virginia coastline. And we got low pressure off the Florida Gulf Coast, Northwestern Mexico, and off the North Central California here. 13 degrees at Tetris, Atlanta, and Detroit, and Pittsburgh. 20 in Washington, D.C. It's 34 at Atlanta, Georgia. 77 in Miami, Florida. It's 30 in Brownsville, Texas. 27 in Dallas, Texas. 43 out in New Orleans, Louisiana. 20 in St. Louis. 24 in Kansas City. 32 in Omaha, Nebraska. 11 in Chicago. 31 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. 37 in Great Falls, Montana. It's 36 in Seattle, Washington. 46 in San Francisco. 53 in Los Angeles. It's 48 in Las Vegas. 25 in Salt Lake City, Utah. 20 in Denver. 25 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 40 in Las Vegas. And 53 out in Phoenix, Arizona. Take a look at our radar situation. Shows some spotty snow shots off the Portland, Maine, and off the Mid Maine coastline here, off Brunswick, Maine, here. And we'll zoom you out, and it shows a lot of snow shots from southeastern Vermont, southeastern Virginia, stretching down to eastern North Carolina, and some sleep from southeastern North Carolina coastline down to northeastern South Carolina. While seeing some rain shots off the coastal Carolinas down to southern Georgia, and stretching to north central Florida, and down to the Florida Gulf Coast, and then down to the Gulf of Mexico. And a lot of snow shots from northeastern Illinois, stretching the western portions of Michigan. Some snow shots in the northeastern portions of Michigan, stretching in eastern Ontario down for west central portions of Quebec. And some snow sh and sleet and rain shots from north central portions of New Mexico. Snow shots in the northeastern portions of Arizona. Rain shots in southeastern portions of Arizona here. And some snow shots in the northeastern Montana, northwestern uh, North Dakota, stretching up in the Saskatchewan and the east central portions of Alberta. And some snow shots in central portions of British Columbia, some rain shots in southwestern portions of British Columbia here. A latest look, and it is snowing right now from eastern North Carolina, from Raleigh and stretching in eastern North Carolina, down to south central portions of Virginia, and sleeting around the northeastern portions of South Carolina, down to central portions of South Carolina here. And some snow shots in south central portions of West Virginia, down to west central tip of Virginia here. And take a look at our satellite loop beer, and it shows a lot of clouds coming to much of New England and the stretch of Dana up in Quebec, down for Ontario, coming to much of the Great Lakes, 
Line of class from the Virginia stretch it in for the Southeastern States, Stanford Gulf States, and Stanford Southern Oklahoma, and for Northern Texas, and stretch around New Mexico, Arizona, and line of class off the California coastline here. And line of class from British Columbia stretch it in through Manitoba, and covering much of Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho, and covering much of Montana here. Okay, let's take a look at forecast discussion around the region here. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain likely for portions of the Carolinas here. Precipitation will be on the increase across the deep south with heavy rain moving in by Wednesday. Strengths of energy wind and the flow of water will offer precipitation to cross portions of the Gulf Coast and in the southeast part. Today and Tuesday is with cold high surface pressure to the north filtering and then well below. Normal temperatures are next. Uh, sleet and freeze rain should be possible from eastern Texas to Carolina, central and northern Alabama with snow likely across northern Georgia and the Carolinas by Tuesday afternoon average. An area of low pressure is expected to develop just off the southeast coastal line. Precipitation ramp up from portions of the southeast to the north Carolina coastlines here. The cold air in the north place should allow an organized area of snow to develop along the north Carolina coast with sleet, freeze rain, and possible further south in this same system. May also clip portions of the northern New England with a period of Martin and heavy snow on Wednesday night, Wednesday morning uh, as it moves northward well off the Atlantic coastline here. Meanwhile, an upper level close low across the southwest United States will move into the southern plains by Wednesday morning law and precipitation to Tennessee Street Belt across the four quarter region Tuesday and pushing into the southern plains and Gulf Coast Wednesday as an area of low pressure of the surface strengthens in the Gulf. This will allow a widespread area of moderate heavy rain develop across the Central Gulf Coast states Wednesday morning and moving into the Southeast states by Wednesday evening. Some light to moderate snow may also be possible in the northern end of the Pennsylvania of Shield from Northeast Texas to Western North Carolina air. Elsewhere, light snow showers are expected across the upper Mississippi Valley and the Great Lakes ahead of a cold front dropping out of the Southern Carolina and Tuesday and less than the Wednesday just to west of the same area of energy. A lot should be, feel some light snow across the Rockies of Tuesday moving into the northern plains and Middle of Mississippi Valley by Wednesday at the same time a weak system moving across the eastern Pacific may bring some light and scattered rain showers to the Pacific Northwest by Wednesday. Okay, take a look at our forecast discussion around the region here and it shows fast moving low pressure will bring a brief period of accumulating snow to Rhode Island and the message just late tonight in the very early Wednesday morning here. Two ocean storms will pass well south of New England in the Thursday and Friday, but some ocean effect snow is possible over the Outer Cape and temperatures slowly moderate. Saturday's high pressure builds into the region. Then a frontal system may bring some snow and mixed precipitation late Sunday and Monday. Here, and new trimental 6 p.m. this evening, 10 a.m. update. Temperature recovery is underway with higher later February Sunday angle going into work on Arctic air mass and further warming occurs this afternoon as low level flow becomes south as the Arctic high moves offshore. So as previous forecasts have mentioned, the highs will recover about 10, 15, to 20 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon with lows 20s along the south coast. Lighter winds and sunshine front high clouds. Will help take the edge of the cold temperatures. However, keep in mind normal daytime temperatures for late February should be in the late 40s. Still, 20 degrees or so colder than normal today, and other than modifying hourly temperature and dew point free previous forecast on its own track. So, no major change with this forecast update. Okay, how cold was it? How cold was it? Up in Montgomery, Vermont. Just a few miles near the Canadian border. 31 degrees below zero. Coffin Rancher at 21 degrees below zero. Winslow, Connecticut at 8 degrees below zero. Burlington, Vermont at 19 degrees below zero. Portland, Maine at 11 degrees below zero. Montpelier, Vermont at 23 degrees below zero. And Cincinnati, Ohio, 7 degrees below zero. And... There was an earthquake reported in Moosip, Connecticut this morning as USGS reports a 2.1 magnitude earthquake about 1.5 miles north of Moosip at 9.18 a.m. and reports of a swarm of small earthquakes in this area between January 8th and January 15th. And today's highs are expected to be highs 15 to 21 degrees around region here. And I expect the snowfall totals to be 1 to 4 inches with 4 inches or more around the southeast 
Plymouth County Round. Buzzard's Bay and the Cape Nouns. So, so I'll be about four inches in Southeast Massachusetts. Round in Cape Nouns and otherwise. General one to three inches of snow possible around much of the region here. Expect six inches more up in Maine. Alright, take a look at a future cast, dear. Expect the snow to get here to southeastern Massachusetts and in Cape Nouns and Rhode Island and eastern Connecticut by about 12 midnight here and expect to get up to the Boston vicinity and central Massachusetts by about 2 a.m. and up to southeastern New Hampshire and Maine by about 2.27 in the morning time here. And expect the snow to get up to the southeast of the Maine by about 4 a.m. And then snow and for much of the state of Maine by about 6 in the morning here. And expect it to get out here by about the afternoon time as it's going to be snowing up and down the state of Maine here and up to New Hampshire here. And we can see up to 4 inches of snow here in Boston, 1.4 inches of Worcester, 2.9 inches of Portland, predicting 5 inches or more up in East Port, Maine, and 5.5 inches up in Bangor, Maine here. We are under a winter weather advisory here. A probable snowfall expected across eastern Massachusetts around late tonight, but most of it will be over by the start of the Wednesday morning rush hour commute. Winter weather advisory will remain in effect from 10 p.m. this evening to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. Locations eastern Massachusetts and Redown. This includes the cities of Boston and Providence as well as surrounding towns. Hazard types are accumulating snow. Accumulations of 2 to 5 inches of snow highest totals likely between the Cape Cod Canal and Northwest and the Interstate 95 corridor. Time and snow comes to offshore, onshore into the southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island coast. Between 10 p.m. and midnight, then overspread the remainder of Rhode Island and eastern Massachusetts. The heaviest snowfall between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Then exits eastern Massachusetts between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Impact snow-covered roads and poor visibility as snowfall rates may briefly breach or exceed 1 inch per hour. Bulk of the snow will be over by the Wednesday morning rush hour, but on traded roads will be snow-covered. Visibility is one quarter mile less at times. Precaution preparedness actions of winter weather advisory is issued when the snow and ice is forecast to develop in the affected areas, but the cumulation is expected to be light and a snow and ice will be Resulting in slippery conditions on treated roadways and sidewalks. When temperatures are below freezing, motorists need to be especially careful on bridges and overpasses where slippery spots can easily develop. Day 1 tonight, Winter Weather Advisory, Day 2 for 7, Wednesday for Monday, our Winter Weather Advisory here. Okay, let's take a look at the 7-day forecast that goes like this. But this afternoon, most of the sky about 21 degrees, southward about 5 miles per hour. For tonight, snow mainly before 5 a.m. Snow can be every time, temperature rise around 25 degrees by 4 a.m. South one about 5 miles can be coming in the evening, chest occupation is 100%. New snow occupation at 2 to 4 inches possible for Wednesday. I chest of snow before 7 a.m. Most of the sun sky about 32 degrees. West one about 5 to 9 miles by gusts high as 20 miles by chest occupation is 30%. New snow occupation less than half an inch possible. Why is that? Most of the coast are low about 8 above. Northwest one about 5 to 7 miles per hour for Thursday. Parts of the sun sky is high about 21 degrees. North wind about 6 miles per hour Thursday. Most of the coast are low about 6 degrees. Friday, parts of the sun sky about 22 degrees. Friday night, most of the coast got a low about 4 above. Saturday, sun sky about 26 degrees. Saturday night, most of the coast got a low about 9 degrees. For Sunday, parts of the sky high about 35 degrees. Sunday night, chance of snow, mostly coast got with a low around 27 degrees. Chance of is 40%. And for Monday, chance of rain and snow, most of the coast got high about 40 degrees. Chance of is 40%. Pears, what a phase of the day! A A sunny and cold day and tap and a few snow tonight and tomorrow. Pew as you have a good day with a good positive attitude. I'll see you for a 3 o'clock report. Have a good night.